Hello everyone, my name is Gopal Karel, teacher of Oxford Secondary School, Butol. Today we will learn about how to record the budget and expenditure properly in Statement of Expenditure, which is prepared by operating level offices of government. So this is a specimen of a Statement of Expenditure, which is prepared at the end of every month which shows the summary of annual appropriation of the budget under different budget heads, release up to the current month, expenditure up to the previous month, expenditure of current month, expenditure up to current month, advance amount, expenditure except advance, and balance of budget. The AGF number of monthly expenditure has been changed into AGF number 210 from the fiscal year 2076-77, which was previously coded as AGF number 13. So we will do one practical question that will clarify the entry of given transaction into a statement of expenditure. Here, following information are given. Budget hand, salary, allowance, telephone, rent and furniture is given. Uh, annual budget for respective expenditure are rupees 6 lakh for salary, 60,000 for allowance, 40,000 for telephone, 1 lakh 20,000 for rent, 50,000 for furniture. Expenditure up to us are 5 lakh 50,000 for salary, 55,000 for allowance, 25,000 for telephone, 1 lakh rupees rent, and 50,000 furniture. Expenditure up to just just 5 lakh rupees for salary, 50,000 for allowance, 20,000 for telephone, 90,000 for rent, and 50,000 for furniture uh, given. So, in additional information, unclear advance of rent rupees 5,000 is given. We have to prepare a statement of expenditure for the month of Ashar. So, we will do a solution of that question using this type of specimen. So, in a specimen, uh, we have to write the current name of current month in this area, in this month area. Along with this, we have to write the current month name in column number 4 and column number 6 and 7 also. In column number 5, we have to write the name of previous month. Previous month of uh, Asar is just because we are going to prepare a statement of expenditure for Asar. So, we have to write the name of just in column number 5. In other column where we have to write the name of month, we have to write Asar. So, here we will write the name of Asar and this area also will write Asar. In column number 5, we have to write the name of Jester because Jester is the previous month of Asar. Here Asar and here also we have to write Asar. So, yeah, moving to question. Budget head. Budget head is given there. So, we have to copy that budget head into our specimen now budget head salary allowance telephone rent furniture and the amount annual budget amount is also given there so we can copy this amount in annual budget column before that we have to write the bh number of uh, the given budget expenditure. A specific code number is assigned for different heads of expenditure uh, incurred in the government offices. So we have to write that budget expenditure head salary 21111, allowance 21139, telephone 22112, rent 28149, and furniture 31123. The amount budget amount is annual budget amount is 6 lakh 60 thousand 40 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand 50 thousand respectively we have to record that in given specimen salary 6 lakh allowance rupees 60 thousand telephone rupees 40 thousand rent rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand furniture rupees 50 thousand now moving to another column given in question Expenditure up to Asar is given there, so we have to write uh, that amount in expenditure up to our Asar. Expenditure up to Asar in, is given in column number 7 because expenditure up to Asar is here, so we have to write that amount in this column. Expenditure up to Asar starts from rupees 5 lakh 50,000, then 55,000, then 25,000, 1 lakh, and then 50,000. 
so we have to write that amount in column number 7 5 lakh 50 thousand 55 thousand 25 thousand 1 lakh rupees and rupees 50 thousand now another column given in question that is expenditure up to just the column matched with the column number fifth so we have to write that amount in this column 5 lakh rupees 50 thousand 20 thousand 90 thousand and 50 thousand so these are the major information provided by a question we have already written this information into our uh, agf number 210 now we'll, we have to calculate using calculator we have to find out the balancing amount of column number six we know that as i have already show you the specimen where the column number seven is a total of column number five and six five plus six equals to column number seven so we have to find out the missing amount of column number six five column number five plus column number six equals to column number seven so rupees fifty thousand should be recorded in front of salary in column number six fifty thousand five lakh plus fifty thousand equals to five lakh fifty thousand and in allowance 50,000 plus 5,000 equals to rupees 55,000, 20,000 plus 5,000 equals to 25,000, 90,000 plus 10,000 equals to rupees 1 lakh, 50,000 0. So 50,000 plus 0 equals to rupees 50,000. So this is the amount which we have uh, find out by doing a calculation. This is a missing figure. Um, this is not given in our question we have find out this from using from doing a calculation because column number seven is a total of column number five and six so moving to another column that is column number four as i have shown you in a specimen also note same amount is written in column number four and seven in column number four and column number seven the same amount should be written there so we have already find out column number seven as it is given in question so we can write that amount in column number four as well five lakh fifty thousand fifty five thousand twenty five thousand one lakh rupees and fifty thousand so we have already written this amount column number seven amount in column number four now moving to Another information that has been given in your question that is unclear advance of rent rupees 5000 given there. So we have to write that unclear advance in advance section or advance column in front of rent. Here is a rent in advance column. We have to write rupees 5000 in front of rent because 5000 is an unclear advance of rent. So we have to write that amount in front of rent. So moving to column number nine. 9 column number 9 in column number 9 as i have already shown you the specimen that 9 is a, a column where column number 8 should be deducted from 7 so 7 minus 8 equals to column number 9 so 5 lakh 50 thousand minus 0 equals to 5 lakh 50 thousand 55 thousand minus 0 equals to rupees 55 thousand 25,000 minus 0 because there is nothing so rupees 25,000 1 lakh minus 5,000 equals to rupees 95,000 50,000 minus 0 equals to rupees 50,000 now moving to last column of uh, this statement of expenditure so we have to find out the balance of budget balance of budget means government has allocated budget for this office is given here in annual budget column that amount uh, that amount is annual budget for a certain office and the expenditure up to asad is given here in column number seven so the total annual budget uh, amount is a allocation of certain um, office uh, for uh, uh, expenditure uh, in particular budget hand so out of this this uh, government offices has, has made an expenditure of uh, uh, rupees 5 lakh 50 thousand for salary 55,000 for allowance and 25,000 for telephone rent 1 lakh and 50,000 for furniture so in balance of budget section we have to you can see in specimen as well column number 10 3 minus 7 column number 3 minus 7 column number 7 should be deducted from column number 3 to find out the balance of column number 10 so 6 lakh minus 5 lakh 50,000 equals to rupees 50,000 60,000 minus 55,000 equals to rupees 5,000 
40,000 minus 25,000 equals to rupees 15,000. 1 lakh 20,000 minus 1 lakh equals to rupees 20,000. 50 minus 50 equals to 0. So, this is a balance of budget. Now, moving to another row that is total uh, area where we have to do a total of each and every amount column. So, annual budget total 6 lakh plus 60,000 plus 40,000 plus 1 lakh 20,000 plus 50,000. The total of annual budget is rupees 8 lakh 70,000. And you can do a total of uh, release up to SR also by 5 lakh 50,000 plus 55,000 plus 25,000 plus 1 lakh and rupees 50,000 that is rupees 7 lakh 80,000 5 lakh plus 50 plus 20 plus 90 plus 50 equals to rupees 7 lakh 10,000 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 5,000 plus 10,000 equals to rupees 70,000 5 lakh 50,000 plus 55,000 plus 25,000 plus 1 lakh plus 50,000 equals to rupees 7 lakh 80,000 5,000 5,000 in advance column now 5 lakh 50,000 plus 55,000 plus 25,000 plus 95,000 plus 50,000 equals to rupees 7 lakh 75,000. 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 15,000 plus 20,000 equals to rupees 90,000. So this is a total of each and every column. So now moving to next area of comparison with the annual budget percentage, we have to find out the annual budget percentage. So how much is the uh, percentage of we have to find out of each column with compared to annual budget. So annual budget is given there 870,000. How much is the 780,000 percentage with compared to annual budget 870,000? We can use this formula. Uh, following formula should be used to calculate comparison percentage. Comparison with annual budget equals to total of given column divided by total annual budget into 100. So total of given column means we are going to calculate column number 4 percentage. So total of column number 4 is 7,80,000 or total of annual budget is rupees 8,70,000. 7,80,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to. So 7,80,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 89.66 percentage. 89.66 percentage. So now moving to another column, 7 lakh 10,000 divided by 8 lakh 70,000 into 100. So 7 lakh 10,000 divided by 8 lakh 70,000 into 100 equals to 81.60 percentage. 81.60 percentage. In another column, uh, 70,000 divided by 8 lakh 70,000 into 100. 70,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 8.04 percentage, 8.04 percentage. Now moving to another column, 7,80,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 89.66 percentage, 89.66 percent. So now moving to another column that is 5,000. 5,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 0.57 percentage, 0.57 percentage. Now moving to another column, column number 9, 7,75,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 89.08 percentage, 89.08. Last column, 90,000 divided by 8,70,000 into 100 equals to 10 point. 34 percentage 10.34 percentage so this is a conclusion of statement of expenditure in table table so we have to also uh, write something in prepared and approved section also so in this area name of the person who has prepared the statement of expenditure should be written here mr abc position accountant normally accountant prepare this type of st statement and date of preparation because we are preparing the ASHAR statement of expenditure so we have to write the end date of ASHAR that is 31st ASHAR and the signature of accountant should be here in this area and in approved section the name of the office head should be written here Mr. XYZ his position office head and date 31st ASHAR so his signature should be here in signature area so this is the solution of question as I have shown you here so this is a solution
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग